This is Ramon Lewis with DroneSense. And I'd like to welcome you all to this latest DroneSense video installment covering our latest feature offering, ADS-B and relative altitude settings. These features allow you to track incoming manned aviation and maintain altitude and horizontal separation from other unmanned aircraft in your shared mission space. Let's get to it. A few points to keep in mind. Remember that these are two separate features covering two separate issues. ADS-B will initially be available on DJI V5 aircraft. So your M3, your M30, your 300s, your 350s. And the information that is uh, pulled through is based on DJI's AirSense warning level. This determines the color of that incoming craft and again, how close that threat is. So your gray airplane is a no notice that manned aircraft are in the area, but not a factor to your operations. Yellow airplane is a caution that manned aircraft has moved close enough to become a factor and should be monitored. While a red airplane is a collision risk, the pilot should be prepared to take evasive action should the need arise. Be aware that DJI shows incoming aircraft 400 feet closer, both horizontally and vertically than they really are. thus giving you a buffer to work with. Is that a bad thing? Not at all. Safe is safe is safe. Remember, ADS-B is line of sight. This isn't a big deal if you're already in the air, but if you're taking off from between two buildings or taking off from behind a hill or a cliff, Understand that you will get a notification as soon as line of sight is established. DroneSense also offers drone to drone traffic separation calculations, which work in the same manner as ADSB, giving you customizable settings, helping prevent mid air collisions with other drones. Let's take a look at how we get to these settings and how we put them into practice in the real world. Let's get started. First, we'll enter general settings and scroll down to primary traffic altitude, where we can choose between MSL, AGL, or relative altitude set readings. We'll continue to our vertical separation, or horizontal separation, and ADS-B altitude filter. This will help us avoid cluttering our screen and focusing on aircraft that are of no factor. Let's take a look at this in real time. Here we can see as an aircraft is coming into our area of operations, the aircraft has turned red, pilot has made adjustments, and the aircraft exits our area of operations and returns back to a non-threat. In our next example, a manned aircraft appears from behind an escarpment, is flagged, and passes without incident. In this example, we have manned aviation entering our AO in the red with an additional unmanned pilot on the ground. As our pilot is adjusting their altitude, we observe the relative altitude calculations, moving the manned aviation from red to yellow to gray, and thus no factor. If you have additional questions or would like to set up training on this feature or the many more we offer, reach out to our support line at help.dronesense.com. They can put you with your customer success manager. And again, thanks for your attention and enjoy our newest feature and get out there and fly safely.